Amber Heard's lawyer, Elaine Breedhoft, has spoken out after Johnny Depp won his high-profile libel trial against his ex-wife. The court awarded the actor $10. 4 meters, 8.2 million pounds, in damages, but Ms. Breedhoft says Ms. Heard can't afford it. When appearing on NBC's Today Show yesterday, presenter Savannah Guthrie asked the lawyer, is she able to pay a $10? 4 meters judgment? Ms. Breedhoff then responded, oh no, absolutely not. Earlier that day, Ms. Breedhoff also spoke to Gail King on CBS Mornings. When asked why the jury ultimately did not believe Ms. Heard, Ms. Breedoft claimed Johnny Depp's legal team weren't fighting fair. She said, the way that Depp's team approached this was based on ignorance of domestic violence. They completely ignored the cycle of violence and just said, oh, she wouldn't have done this if he had been hitting her, that was their approach. Co-host Nate Burleson then probed whether she thought his lawyers weren't fighting fair. She said, correct, I don't think they were fighting fair. She added, what they learned from the UK case was to demonize Amber, which is what they did. And to try and suppress much of the evidence that came in in the UK and did not come in in the United States. The other problem is that we had cameras in the courtroom. Ms. Breedoff also noted that there was tremendous social media that was very much against Amber. She continued, there were a lot of influences that were beyond our control, it was like a Roman Colosseum. Even though the jury were told not to go and look at anything, they had weekends, they have families, they have social media. How could they not have been influenced? Ms. Breedoff also confirmed that Amber plans to appeal the verdict. On Wednesday, the jury found that she defamed her ex-husband after writing her 2018 op-ed for the Washington Post about her experiences as a survivor of domestic abuse. The jurors found that Mr. Depp did not assault his ex-wife and that her allegations of domestic abuse in her op-ed defamed him with malice. However, they also awarded Ms. Heard $2 million in compensatory damages with no punitive damages, 